Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Cutler. My name is Jeff Meredith, and I'm fortunate to be the hockey coach here for the last 32 years. Um, uh, we loved having Sawyer in on his visit last week, spending time with him and, and getting to find out uh, more about him. And so what I wanted to do today is give you a little bit of sense of myself, uh, our program, and more importantly, what some of our guys who have come through our program are currently doing uh, professionally today. As I said, I've been fortunate to be here for 32 years. In that time, we have a lot of alumni and they're all over the world. Uh, what I want to do is just take a minute and just go through and show you some of the, uh, the alums that we have through our senior awards. I've coached every one of these guys and I can pretty much tell you what they're doing professionally. Uh, let's see, start with uh, Tommy Pokel. Uh, Pokes was a marketing uh, major while he was here. Uh, we were able to get Pokes uh, a position uh, with the Buffalo Sabres as an internship. They loved him so much that they hired him. Uh, Tommy spent six years working in the marketing department for the Sabres and then had a chance to coach pro hockey in Europe. He's been there the last 26 years, met his wife and has three kids over there. Uh, below Tommy is uh, Tommy White. Uh, Whitey has his own uh, company out in Denver and uh, I just called him on Wednesday because he turned 52. I gave him a hard time, told him he's catching up to me. Um, over here, Paul Kwiatkowski. Paul is from Lockport, Illinois. Originally played juniors for CompuWare. Uh, Paul just retired in July as an ATF agent uh, for about the last 25 years. Um, Sean Kinsley above him. Sean has his PhD and Sean is a principal of a high school uh, in Florida. Next to him is Noah Seidenberg and as I usually say on the tour, uh, Noah's making more money than all these guys put together. Noah has his own wealth management firm in Chicago. He's originally from Grays Lake and uh, we stay in really close touch. Next to him is Rob McDonald. Uh, Macker was a business major here for the last 20 something years. He's worked as a food and beverage manager at Universal Studios Theme Park in Orlando. Marty Diamond is Vice President of Avion Pharmaceuticals um, down in, uh, in Atlanta. Uh, over here, Craig Conley. Craig, Craig lives in a little bit of a fantasy world in that he really has three jobs. His, his uh, one job is he has his own sport management firm where any large corporation that wants a uh, a named speaker for a convention, Craig is the one that goes out, gets that speaker, and, and gets that speaker to the convention. Um, he also is Jeremy Roenick's PR director. He first met JR uh, when Craig was working for a marketing firm in Philadelphia, and Roenick was playing for the Flyers. Um, and then uh, the last job that Craig has is, is really kind of cool. He works for UFC. So anytime UFC goes anywhere in the world to stage a fight, Craig is sitting ringside between Dana Rogan and Joe Wright, uh, uh, Dana White and Joe Rogan, and uh, Craig Craig is breathing air that most of us never get to breathe. Uh, over here, Dougie Flarkowski. Dougie is the CEO of a hospital. Uh, C.J. Glander is the uh, principal and headmaster of a prep school in Indiana. Uh, who else here? Uh, Peter Barone. Peter works uh, for a headhunting firm in Atlanta and they staff hospitals and medical facilities with all sorts of disciplines of various uh, medical professions and so if a hospital needs a doctor of a certain skill set, Peter's firm is the one that places that doctor. Dave Simpson here. Dave is a violent crimes investigator for Rochester, New York Police Department and uh, just a few years ago he solved a 25 year old cold case. Next to him is Maddie Allen. Maddie is an attorney uh, in Michigan right now. Mike McDonald is next here. Macker uh, was such an amazing young man, uh, heart and soul kind of guy, guts and glory kind of player that we actually named an award after Mac at his senior banquet. Um, Mac just sold his company for three million dollars and you'll laugh when you hear about the company. Um, in eighth grade, he started cutting lawns, cut lawns through high school, juniors, and college. But every year, he built this, this small lawn cutting company 
to plant flowers, holiday decorations, landscaping. Finally, after college, he turned it into a brick and mortar company and uh, just recently sold that for $3 million. Mac is probably just 50 years old and he's retired right now. Um, uh, Ronnie Check teaches at a school for the deaf. Um, Kevin Stone is back home in Toronto. Stoney uh, has coached women's professional hockey in Toronto. Here's a guy, Chad Spear. Um, Chad Spear works in Buffalo and he's a uh, vice president of a medical equipment supply company, meaning that let's say a doctor is going to perform open heart surgery, Chad is involved in sizing all the valves and the equipment and everything needed, the, the uh, hardware needed for that operation, and then Chad actually sits in on that operation and assists the doctor. Um, it's interesting to note, last spring I had 10 seniors, and by the end of April, five of them already had jobs. Chad um, uh, is so successful that I invited Chad to come to campus, and I took my five seniors that were still searching for a job, and we all went to lunch. And I looked at it as a networking opportunity for our guys. I had, had them submit their resumes uh, beforehand so that Chad could look at them. And it was just a great time at lunch because here's a guy that graduated in 2000 and is out being extremely successful. And here's five guys that are graduating in 2019 and they're just starting their career. But yet they all had something in common and they all were part of the Fredonia family. So I think as a career coach, one of the things that I'm always looking to do is try to help my guys get to that next place in life that they want to go to. Um, over here, Mike Moise. Uh, Moise is a uh, lawyer in Chicago, and of course when the Hawks won their first cup many, many years ago, Moise, like uh, a lot of people in Chicago, went bar to bar after the game to try to find the cup. What was funny, I come into the office the next morning and there's a picture in my email, dark, grainy picture of uh, Moise in the uh, Stanley Cup in Chicago. But apparently he had found it. Uh, Will Hamill is a teacher in Baltimore. When we played in Baltimore last weekend, Willie was there to, uh, to see us and he brought his family. Tommy Briggs works uh, for a large uh, consulting firm in Chicago. Briggsy, after he graduated from Fredonia, worked in the business world for a few years and then went to University of Notre Dame to get his MBA. Steve Greenberg, Greeny is a uh, chiropractor down in Florida. Donnie Yeager has his own fitness center uh, in Michigan. Above him, Will Barlow. Willie was my captain in 2007. Willie works for TD Bank Investments in Toronto and just recently had someone offer to buy his book of investments for four million dollars. Uh, Will graduated in 2007, so that makes him probably just close to 40 years old. Uh, Stevie Albert, uh, Alps is, has his own chiropractor practice in Port Huron, Michigan. Uh, Ricky Boyce is working in business uh, in downtown Toronto and travels internationally a couple times a month. Colin Sarfe, Colin has a, it's like a fantasy job. And the job is this, he's the marketing director for Pelagic Equipment. And if you're into fishing at all, you know the name Pelagic because Pelagic is gear. Um, you know, not rods and real gear, but jackets, shirts, hats, and, and like that. So as the marketing director for Pelagic, Colin, his job is to take uh, the Pelagic fishing charter out, bring sponsors out with them, and they catch these enormous fish, and then he puts it on Instagram as part of his promotion for Pelagic. Um, I just saw his Instagram the other day, and um, his, uh, his Instagram handle is like C Snarfs. Anyways, he's down in uh, Turks and Caicos uh, catching fish down there, and I can't believe a guy gets paid for something like that. Uh, Jeff Ayonzo is working in uh, business in downtown Toronto. Uh, Kyle Yelich is the principal of a school. Chris DeBrun, uh, Brunzi has an amazing job. He works for Canadian Pacific Railway as one of their chief financial officers. Uh, Brunzi um, graduated in 2011 and he uh, was a dual 
finance and economics major. Um, Brunzi was a two-time captain for us and such an impressive individual that what we did was his senior year banquet, we named an award after him and we give it out annually to the combination of the top student, our top team player, our top community person here, and, uh, and our top hockey player, uh, the Chris DeBrun Award. Uh, over here, uh, Willie McLaughlin. Willie just graduated from medical school last year. Um, he's now in his first year of surgical residency at Yale University Med School uh, in orthopedic surgery. Kind of blows my mind, you know, that he's doing something like that. Uh, Ian Cosgrove, Cosy graduated from Fredonia, uh, went to University of Notre Dame Law School. He's now an attorney in downtown Detroit. Uh, Brad Nunn is working in social media in Manhattan. Brett Muller is a general manager of uh, two or three car dealerships uh, in uh, eastern New York State. Matt Hare, Hare's he always uh, wanted to go into coaching. He is now the head hockey coach for the Yorkton Terriers in the Saskatchewan Junior League. Um, well, it's here. Matt Osarzik. Actually, Marty Diamond over here hired Matt Osarzik when Matt graduated from Fredonia. In fact, Marty Diamond has hired two of our alums. And again, that's just kind of how the family takes care of the family. So anyways, uh, Matt is in medical equipment, supplies, doing really well. And uh, Matt's actually getting married, I believe, next uh, September. Um, right next to, uh, to him, uh, we get Taylor Bourne. Bourne is a math major. Bourne is back home in uh, Calgary, uh, working in business. Ryan Wilkinson is coaching and teaching at the Okanagan Hockey Academy up in Edmonton. Mitch Kaufman went on to engineering school after. Mitch is an engineer. Frankie Hart is playing professionally over in Sweden right now. Um, uh, Hunter Long here. Hunter is actually getting married this summer to a girl named Hunter, if you can believe that. Uh, Mac McAvoy took over his dad's insurance business. Mac is doing really well now. Benny, uh, Benny Cassell. Benny is a engineer. Um, uh, my captain from a couple years ago, Jamie Young, is in his uh, second year of law school now. Jamie was my captain uh, a couple years ago and just incredibly organized, incredibly buttoned up, detailed young man. And uh, so the fact that he's in law school is, is really no surprise to me. And the fact that he's thriving in law school isn't a surprise either. Uh, a couple of our grads from last year, Luke Rivera. Uh, Ribs is a two-time Hockey Humanitarian Award winner. And uh, Hockey Humanitarian Award is kind of billed as college hockey's finest citizen. Uh, Ribs is currently selling uh, industrial real estate in Los Angeles. Um, Mike Freeman, Mike was my captain last year. Incredible young man, amazing communication skills. He now works in the marketing department for the Ontario Reign of the American Hockey League. Uh, and then uh, uh, Bobby Polachek, Bobby is working on his master's degree. And uh, Brandon Spagnardi is an associate with his uh, family's real estate firm in, uh, in Philadelphia area. Spogs is just, he's a, he was a grinder when he was here, and he's a grinder out in the real world. He's working seven days a week, about 60, 70 hours a week, and he just has such a drive to be successful. You know, I know he's gonna do a great job. I, uh, I gave you the short tour. I really could have gone through all of these guys, but I just really wanted to pick out some of the people that I thought would give you a sense of who we are and, and what kind of young men we try to attract to our program. Um, again, we, we love Sawyer. We love Sawyer as a hockey player, but we really, really love him as a young man with all the things that he brings, character, value, uh, all of those things. We think he would be a perfect fit for us, and I plan to give you a call shortly to introduce myself and to be able to answer any questions that you have. Thank you very much, and I look forward to talking.